Amazon Custom Analytics is a powerful new reporting feature that allows brand owners to tailor the data they see about their business. In this video, I'm going to explain how we use this data and how you can to grow your business. I'm George, the founder of Clear Ads, an Amazon agency that's been running since 2011. And let's get straight into it. When you log into Seller Central, if you click onto the top left of the page, you'll find on the report, the second tab down, custom analytics. It's completely free. It's available to, I know in the US right now, and it's probably gonna be rolled out into Europe soon. Now, um, when you click through, you'll see a dash, uh, a create a custom dashboard page. And here there's some pre-made templates that you could take advantage of. But for this example, I'm gonna to go to create a new dashboard. So we can work here with a blank canvas. So when I go into this page, if you look through, you can see um, table, you can create tables, trend charts, column charts. Um, for this example, I'm gonna create a table. So if you uh, just pull one of the tables in, you can either take up half of the page, the whole thing. Now, once you click on um, the whole thing, you can then click add metrics. And here it is, you have all the information that you can have about your business at your disposal. Um, now, I have to say the only thing that's currently missing is ad, ads data. There's nothing within your ads that you can get here, but you've got virtually everything else. So you can look at um, late shipment rates, you can look at feedback, negative reviews, you can look at search query, a whole range of things. So for this example, I'm just gonna take an ASIN and then I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna kind of look at, okay, let's look at uh, page views on desktop. And then we're going to look at uh, uh, sessions also. And no, no, let's look at promotional discounts, for example. If I click apply, um, within a few seconds, it's populated the data the way you want to see it. So it's um, at your disposal. Now, if you're not happy with this or you want to make amendments, there's no limits. You just go back to edit. You can put in um, a few other data points that you want to see. And it's as simple as that. So this is really powerful and I can't get any more excited and I'm you know I can't wait to see where this goes but if we go now to one that we've made and we've been using so uh, you can see here from this trend chart um, we're looking at you can look at search query clicks compared to uh, purchase now is there any sudden spikes in one or both is there anything that is uh, a little bit unusual on an account level that we can review at first glance. So this is something we look at on a regular basis and then you can filter through and you can actually look at ASIN by ASIN as well as the whole account. So this is a really interesting uh, data point that we can look at. And here you can even segment by the, the traffic sources. So you might wanna review how has the traffic compared from uh, um, desktops to mobile apps and mobile browsing. So um, each week you can look at, is there been any sudden changes? Is there anything that we might need to do to the pages to reflect their main traffic sources? So, excuse me, that's something to look at. And here we can even drill down to search query data and we can look at this at an ASIN level um, and you can kind of um, really pigeon this, pigeonhole this into like a few different ASINs. Um, and then if you scroll down, you can even look at um, uh, is, how does those ASINs compare with those that have cut, how do those sales compare with those that have come in on, a, on the same day, two day or one day shipping? So as you all know, search query data is a bit overwhelming at times, right? There's so many pieces of data you can get, but here you can actually organize it so you can only you see what you need to see um, in a nicely presented way. So um, you can even scroll down and look at, okay, which, where have the majority of the clicks and sales at the carts come from, from a search query uh, level. And then you can just go through and filter by ASIN. So it makes it a lot easier to review this data. Uh, again, you can scroll down and look at um, what does the conversion rates look like compared to the selling price. So if you've been adjusting the prices you pay, how has, you know, has the conversion uh, rate in any way increased, decreased? So it really does give you a good sense of what's happening with the business. And I really like this feature here where you can look at total sales uh, last year to this year. Um, you can look at clicks, add to carts, etc. So it has all this data. Um, I'm really excited. I'm sure there's gonna be more that's introduced within custom analytics features, um, especially the ads. That's gonna be really exciting when they do that. And if you found this uh, video useful, uh, please feel free to um, subscribe because we're gonna add uh, more as time goes on. And also feel free to like. Um, 
So thank you so much for watching and hope you have a great day.